Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be your reading for March 2023 and March 1st through the 15th. So if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get some energy for you, Cancer. The energy for Cancer or around Cancer, please. Okay, we have perseverance and renewal. At the bottom, we have forgiveness. So you may have a reason to forgive somebody or you may be in need of some kind of forgiving at this time, Cancer. Um, but I feel like you're pushing through. Um, you're very close to some sort of new beginning, new journey. Some kind of new offering being made to you is what I'm getting. Okay? Because you've waited patiently. You've held out. You've went without. You know? And I feel like you've went without for so long that the universe is saying it's time. Okay? It's time for that, that new arrival right now. Okay? Uh, let's get some more energy for cancer. Okay, we have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. You may have worried too long, cancer. And I feel like it may have to do with maybe your health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Um, you may have been worrying about your health, worrying about the way that you eat, the way that you sleep is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like maybe you've had a lot of trouble sleeping because of the, the things that you've been going through. But Spirit is letting you know you're here for a new beginning. It's time for a fresh start. Okay? Um, let's get some tarot for Cancer. Give me a message for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 1st through the 15th. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords, some kind of breakthrough, some kind of clarity. Um, we have the Ten of Wands, the Lovers, wow, and the Five of Cups. Okay. Okay, Cancer. Okay, I feel like, you know, there's some kind of information coming through. I feel like with this Ace of Swords energy... Um, I feel like there's a lot of new ideas, a lot of new clarity. Some kind of burden is being lifted from you. Um, I feel like you're, you've completed this task and now you're like getting the bounty, the reward of what you've been building for. Okay? If you're open to love, I feel like love is actually here for you. If you're already in a relationship, I feel like there's things that you're keeping in this relationship. And I feel like there's things that you're working on releasing in this relationship. Maybe in this relationship, you're working on releasing some sort of bad habit that maybe your partner doesn't like or that you don't, you don't like and your partner does. I feel like... There, there's some release going on here in your relationship. Okay? Very interesting energy. <clears throat> but I definitely feel like there's some sort of purge going on. There's something that you're letting go of in this relationship. Okay? We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. At the bottom, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of change going on for you. There's a lot of change going on. I feel like you are planning for some kind of trip or activity with this Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like maybe you've saved up for this energy. You've used all of your resources wisely. And now you're like putting them into action into doing something that you really desire to do. 
I feel like it's been a long time coming. You've been waiting for this for a long time. So maybe you've been saving for a very long time to take advantage of this trip, this travel, or wherever you're going. But I'm kind of seeing that you kind of got the world in your hand at the moment. So you're looking at the world and seeing where you, you are going to land. Very interesting. I feel like it's a lot of change. It's a lot of change happening for you, Cancer. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like, look, you got two tens in this reading. So I, I feel like whatever this is that you're releasing, I feel like, you know, it's bringing you closer to this love interest above here. I feel like there's something within this love interest that you're releasing, that you're letting go of, that you are just ending. We have the hangman. Yeah, you're looking for some kind of different view. You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're ready to surrender and sacrifice something that really is holding you back from moving forward. Because you're focused on what this is you need to let go of for some reason. Hmm. Tell me more about this Five of Cups hangman. I want to know more about this Five of Cups hangman, please. Give me a message. We have the Eight of Cups. You're definitely leaving this behind. The Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> now you're going to find this very interesting because this is what I'm getting. Cancer. You're leaving behind. You're walking away from having to watch over this Two of Cups energy. I feel like maybe you've been spying on this person, on this Two of Cups. Or maybe you've had to kind of sit in the background and watch them because there was not much trust feel like there's some kind of trust issues but I feel like you know the eight of cups energy walking away but this being recognized being noticed being watched this two of cups energy or someone is is walking away from watching you someone could be stalking you or you could be stalking someone. Cancer. Wow. Are you following somebody on Facebook and you, or, or another social media? And like you're like checking them out every day and seeing what they're doing. And you've decided to finally stop that silliness and, and move on from that. <clears throat> but I really get this. Someone's being watched. And I feel like someone is kind of had enough of it. They're going to end the need to watch somebody. The need to spy on them. With the lovers and the, the, the Ten of Swords energy, I feel like there, there's something that you're really working on. To build up this relationship. To make it stronger. Because you feel like. You may lack confidence. Or your mate may lack confidence. But you're building up your confidence. With this love interest. Okay. 
maybe you're feeling unappreciated or unwanted at the moment and you're like building up your confidence in the situation oh excuse me that's my stomach growling sorry <clears throat> oh, let's see give me more of a message this is very interesting okay we have the four of pentacles the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Okay. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you're protecting it. You're wanting this situation to change though. Because you feel like it's going on for too long. And although you're curious and you really want to find out more information, I feel like you're ready to just... Let go of your fears. Let go of your worries and just say you're done with it. Because I feel like whatever this is, you you may be wondering what your mate is doing or wondering what your significant other is doing. And they may be maybe staying out late or working long hours that you're not sure of. Um, but I feel like <clears throat> there's something that's keeping you in doubt in despair almost okay and I feel like it's this curiosity you know curiosity killed the cat you know and I feel like you are feeling like this has gone on too long it it like it it's meaningless anymore you are just ready to stop okay let's get another deck you're ready for healing you're ready to start something different to focus more on yourself on your healing on you know um starting this new period with this renewal you're ready for a new beginning you're ready for something totally different is what i'm hearing Give me more message, Spirit, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, March 1st through the 15th. Give me more clarity on the situation. <clears throat> yeah, the Ten of Wands. You're ready to lay down those burdens. Look at this, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands. You're ready to lay down your burdens. You're ready for something to be renewed. Like you have a different calling. This is not what you're called to do. You know, um, you have a different vision of where you feel like your life should be going. And you just want to pick up and run with it. You just want to get away to focus on yourself, to focus on what you desire. Because you feel like you're in this like trap that's keeping you hold. Excuse me, that's keeping a hold of you. <clears throat> Okay, and you're definitely looking for something new, something new that you value, that you find a value. You're looking for your desires. We have the Four of Pentacles again. Hmm. You're looking for more stable, more stability, more balance. I feel like with this Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're protecting them. You're protecting yourself from something. You're protecting your valuables, your belongings. Um, he's protecting those pinnacles over his heart. So I feel like you could be protecting your heart from something. Protecting your heart from this worry. Okay. Yeah, we have the tower on the bottom. So you're definitely protecting yourself from some sort of drastic change that you feel is coming. Some some kind of tower moment you feel is coming. So you're like protecting yourself. You're in this defense mode. Okay. Um, Hmm. Tell me more about this energy. Is this a love interest? Is this work? Is this... Tell me what this is for Cancer. Spirit. 
temperance. So you're basically looking for healing. You're looking for more self-control. For some of you, this may be love. Where you're looking for some kind of self-control. Maybe you're obsessing over this person because you're watching over them. Or they're watching over you. Um, hmm. If this isn't your energy, Cancer, this is someone very close to you. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. Some kind of reunion is going to happen. Maybe that you're not quite aware of. Someone is coming forward. And um, I feel like there's going to be secrets that are going to be revealed. You're going to find the answers to something that has been weighing on you for a while. The answers are going to be coming through. And we have the Nine of Swords again. This has been a huge weight on you. You've been worrying about this. You've been very anxious about this situation. I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you... You're ready for it to be done and over with. See, in this one... In this Nine of Swords, let's take a look a little deeper. In this Nine of Swords, there's a lot of worry going on, okay? They're in despair. They're almost grieving over the situation. They're up all night. They're worrying. In this Nine of Swords, they're battling the dragon. So they're battling their fears. They're no longer just sitting by and kind of taking it all in they're not letting this despair or the worry get to them they're like fighting it off so i feel like whatever this is i feel like you you're you're gaining your strength cancer and i feel like you have the need to get rid of whatever this feeling is whatever this anxiousness is whatever this worry is i feel like i feel like you're you're not sitting by and taking it you're battling to get rid of this feeling, okay? Um, we have the Knight of Cups. So some kind of offer is coming in. Some kind of offer is coming in that's going to bring you more balance, more awareness. It's some kind of expansion, okay? Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. This is what's coming in for you. We have some kind of offer coming in, some kind of feeling of growing, of expanding. And I feel like you're able to totally rebuild whatever it is that you're losing. Um, and whatever this is, is bringing you so much happiness, so much joy, abundance. Okay, we have the sun, the magician, and the empress. So whatever this is that you're manifesting, the, the magician and the empress, they are manifestation geniuses. Okay, they can manifest whatever it is that they desire. They can bring it into reality. And the sun represents abundance. Okay, the nine of pentacles represents, um, you know, being self-sufficient having a financial gain okay so i feel like whatever this is that you're manifesting is right around the corner it may be towards the end of um this time period and this reading is from the first to the 15th so it may be more like the 10th or 11th when this windfall is going to come through for you and you're going to feel this renewal you're going to feel the full growth of this renewal this offer this this blessing coming in for you okay so i feel like there is something beautiful on the way for you i feel like there's no need to worry cancer your worries are going to be lifted you're going to feel renewed okay so it is beautiful energy cancer um let's get some angel cards for cancer let's see what's going on Okay, we have supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. 
move beyond limitation and trust. So Spirit is letting you know to just hang tight, wait, have patience. You know, it is on the way. Your abundance, your windfall, your, you know, whatever this is that you're manifesting, it is on the way. Okay. Um, at the bottom, we have downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. So beautiful energy here. Um, look at this. Below that, we have your soul expansion. Your, your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Okay. So beautiful energy. Um, let's get oh, some Moonology Manifestation cards. Let's see what the Moonology Manifestation has to say. Okay, we have make time for self-love. Make time for your own personal gratitude. You know, for your self-care, your self-love. Taking time out for you, Cancer, because you deserve it. Reveal what needs to be seen. Something is definitely going to be revealed and shown to you that's going to help you step up and take the lead. Okay? Um, I'm really enjoying this energy because I feel like it's like went totally left from where it was going. I feel like you're moving away from the worries and you're moving into your abundance. So it's very beautiful, Cancer. So this is what I have for you this week for the first part of March. Um, so if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so, so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity, Cancer. And until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.